to Plateau State, where there is a growing advocacy on the need to promote peaceful cohesion among warring communities to improve and strengthen the fragile peace among communities. Funam Joshua, our correspondent in Plateau State, filed this report. The 2001 crisis in Plateau State has caused segregation among the once united and peaceful communities. A community in Angwendoki, a suburb of just the Plato State capital that hosts both Muslims and Christians in the same area have suffered its fair share of the insecurity in the state. Fifty women from the Muslim community and fifty from the Christian community were selected and trained on skills acquisition and received free starter packs from the sponsors. This was after several months of training. A community secondary school also benefited from the gesture. The essence is to help them unite, to meet regularly, to discuss one, their business or their trade, and then two, ways women can add their voice in finding solutions to the conflict that is going on around. Already women have started uh, contributing to see how we will be assisting each other to grow our business and to better the economy of the community and also to help our children as we foster the peace within the community. Although we are related to each other, both the Christian and the Muslim, we used to help each other of us. Yes. That when the items were presented, both Muslim and Christians were clapping hard, appreciating it. That act alone is bringing them together so that they will learn together their classes are not different. They still learn in the same class, under the same teacher. So with this gesture, it will go a long way to unite both religion together. The state government says it's working tirelessly to promote peaceful coexistence among warring communities in Plato State and have urged citizens to complement its efforts. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss. And meanwhile, supporters of the People's Democratic Party across the 17 local government areas of Plateau State on Saturday turned out in large numbers to welcome the governor, Caleb Mutfuang, back to the state after his victory at the Supreme Court last Friday. It was quite an unusual crowd of supporters at the Yakubu Gawan Airport as many gathered to see the arrival of the governor and celebrate his victory.